If you are a creator on YouTube and part of the Amazon affiliate program, and if not, why not, by the way, <laughs> then stick around because in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can potentially increase your Amazon affiliates revenue using TubeBuddy. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. Now, when I set up my channel in the uh, middle of May this year, uh, I wanted to, from the outset, put systems in place and uh, things in place to allow me to generate revenue for the channel. Uh, we all know that it can be a long slog waiting to get monetized on YouTube, uh, hitting that thousand subscriber mark and having the re uh, required watch hours. Uh, and even when you get there, it's not like YouTube's going to back up the money truck. <laughs> so uh, I'm still not at that level yet in any case. So I did want to make sure that there was uh, there was ways that I could generate revenue to at least cover costs because running a YouTube uh, channel does in fact have costs. People may not be aware. <laughs> But things like paying for your epidemic subscription to make sure you're using legally, uh, legally allowed to use the music that you have in your uh, productions. Obviously, there is equipment, there's costs involved in it, there's also the time involved and so on. Uh, hosting a website, various other different things like that. So there are costs involved and I wanted to make sure that it would at least cover all of those costs uh, and hopefully uh, cover a little bit of the uh, the time cost involved in it as well. Now, one of the first things I set up was my Buy Me A Coffee. So that's at buymeacoffee.com slash take one tech. Uh, so if you do value the content that I create, then that is a great way to show your support from the for the channel, either on a one-off basis or on an ongoing continued subscription. Uh, but what I also set up was Amazon Affiliates. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Amazon affiliates uh, and the way that this works is basically you can uh, include links or uh, images and things like that on your website perhaps uh, but when anyone clicks on one of your links to go through to Amazon uh, then you receive a commission for anything that they buy through that link. Now it doesn't actually have to be the product itself that you've linked to. It can also be anything else that they've bought in that session or within a particular time frame. I believe within 24 hours. I might be wrong about that but it's not always just the products that you link to that uh, can gain you commission. So it it can be a way to uh, generate some extra revenue for your channel. Now, with my channel, I'm sure if any of you are regular viewers, then you will know that I don't really do a lot of product reviews or anything like that on my channel. I do occasionally review products and I do occasionally talk about products. And when I do, then I'm obviously as a good YouTuber, I always put the link in the description below. <laughs> but it is only then that I had been including links to uh, to products on uh, using my Amazon affiliate links. Uh, and so I wasn't really getting a huge amount of traffic through to Amazon. I do also include Amazon affiliate links on my website. So I've got a gear page there. So if you go to takeonetech.io, uh, then at the top, you'll see a gear page. You can click on that and it will list all of the gear that I'm using uh, to create my uh, my YouTube videos. And so all of those links are Amazon affiliate links. Uh, and so if anyone makes purchases, having clicked those links, then I do get some uh, commission from that. But really, as I say, I wasn't getting a huge amount of Amazon affiliates commission. But then I had an idea, but it wasn't my idea. <laughs> I, I, I just noticed that other people were doing this where they would actually include the links in their uh, descriptions for the gear that they were using and things like that. So uh, I'm not claiming uh, that this is something new or anything like that, uh, but you may have seen it before and not really thought it necessary, but I just want to tell you the effect that it's had for my channel having been doing this for the past month. So let me just first uh, come over to uh, my YouTube studio and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And in fact, here you can just notice straight away that I am at uh, only 668 subscribers. So if you aren't subscribed, then go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications <laughs> so that you get notified whenever I make any amazing content. Actually, it will just be when I make content and I can't guarantee it'll always be amazing, but I'll try my best. <laughs> uh, but in any case, so that's where I am at 668 subscribers. Uh, and if you just come over to the uh, little customizer, uh, the, the uh, monetization <laughs> tab over here, I should say, at the, uh, the bottom, uh, then if I click on that, you can see that uh, in order to get monetized on YouTube, YouTube, at least from uh, revenue from adverts, I need to have a thousand subscribers. And uh, this is actually saying one less than that other page. Never mind. <laughs> I'll, I'll assume the higher figure for now. Uh, so this is saying 667. Uh, and then also it's got uh, the watch hours and you need to have 4,000 watch hours and I'm at 3,800 and one. <laughs> so I'm actually, uh, I'm probably going to hit the watch hours uh, requirement before I hit the uh, subscribers requirement. Uh, you also need to have uh, 
two-step verification and also no community uh, guideline strikes. So fortunately, I've been a good boy on YouTube and don't have any of those. Uh, so, but yes, I am still uh, a little way off being monetized on YouTube. And as I say, even when I do get monetized, uh, it will not be a massive amount <laughs> initially. Uh, so uh, he, if I uh, now come into my uh, my content, and I can just pull up one of my uh, my videos, uh, then what I can show you is in here, uh, basically I have a stock description. In fact, let me just step back a minute, shall I? If I come down into the uh, settings down here, uh, and then I can come to, so that's the little cogwheel at the bottom, and then I come to this upload defaults, so I'm gonna click on that one. Uh, here I have the option to add in a default description. So I don't add in a default title and I don't add in a default uh, uh, tags either, uh, but I do add in a default description and this is the description that I'm talking about. So as I come down here, you'll see that basically anytime I upload a video, it automatically puts this information in for me uh, without me having to sort of type it in or copy and paste it in or whatever every time. So if I come over to this video now, you can see that uh, we've got my description. This is just happens to be the last video I did uh, about uh, Loop Tech integration coming to Ecamm Live, which I'm very excited about. Uh, I've been notified by the uh, uh, shipping, <laughs> my shipping notification has told me my Loop Deck will be here on the 1st of November. So you can expect a review and an unboxing and everything like that coming very soon. But down at the bottom, basically here, uh, after this this text, this line here denotes the uh, the beginning of my stock text that I have at the bottom of all of my descriptions. Uh, and that shows different ways that people can connect with me. So my website, things like that. Um, also, I do coaching calls where I talk about any uh, tech issues that you may be having. So you can book one of those with me if you want at takeonetech.io slash consultation. Um, I used to do that solely through Buy Me A Coffee, but now there is an option to book it through the website so that you don't have to necessarily sign up with Buy Me A Coffee either. Uh, but anyway, so that is uh, that is in there in the footer as well. Uh, I'm calling it a footer. It's technically just, it is just part of the description, but I, I think of it as the footer. Uh, and down here, you can see that I've also got uh, some other links to uh, gear that I use. So there's uh, computer gear, audio gear, camera gear, uh, and various different things like that, lighting, obviously, and then just some other random things that I use as well in my setup. So all of these links now are Amazon links, so you can see them there, uh, and all of those links appear in basically every one of my videos that I'm creating going forward. Uh, but obviously, uh, when I did this, which was uh, a month ago, um, I had, had still did still have a back catalogue of uh, well over 150 videos that I needed to um, uh, really update to add this in because it would be a shame to uh, to not have it in my existing videos and only have it in the ones going forward. Now, going in and editing a video can be a little bit time consuming. So it would be a case of, if I come out of here, it would have been a case of going down my list, making sure I didn't lose my place in the list, uh, clicking on a video, coming in, waiting it for it to load up, coming down to the bottom. I did have a stock footer before, by the way, which was uh, just some general information about uh, the uh, the uh, other affiliate links that I used and things like that. It was just basically a paragraph. Um, so I would have had to have gone in and edit all of these and then clicked on save, come back out of this one, go into the next one it just would have been laborious and time consuming and it to be honest with you it would have been one of those jobs that would have been on my to-do list for quite some time and I probably just wouldn't have got around to it uh, but fortunately TubeBuddy had my back and uh I think that TubeBuddy may have just inadvertently <laughs> or, or intentionally actually paid for itself with the additional revenue that I've been able to generate. I'll tell you about the results I've had afterwards. But first of all, let me show you how easy it is to actually go through and bulk edit all of your descriptions in YouTube. And if you haven't got your affiliate links in your YouTube descriptions, I can highly recommend it. And when you hear the results, I think you're going to probably agree with me as well. But first of all, let me tell you a little bit about TubeBuddy, shall I, and how you can get it. Because TubeBuddy is, uh, I think of it as my YouTube coach, to be honest with you. Every time I upload a video, it's there giving me little prompts of things that I need to do. Make sure I've got my tags straight, make sure I've got my uh, uh, descriptions are long enough and uh, titles are, are, are the correct length and that I'm including tags from my titles in my descriptions. All these little tips are great. And so it is my upload coach. But it's far more than that. It is an analytical tool as well. It can analyze your thumbnails it can analyze your facial expressions <laughs> to tell you which of your videos are performing best uh, and you can also do split testing and things like that with it it's an amazing tool and i really highly recommend you check it out at takeonetech.io slash tubebuddy and uh, get yourself a free trial uh, and see for yourself but let's get back to this little demo because i think you're going to uh, going to like this uh, how simple it is to just go through and update your uh, thumbnails 
Uh, sorry, not your thumbnails. It is easy to update your thumbnails. How easy it is to update your descriptions. Uh, so what we can do is if we come over to uh, TubeBuddy, uh, in fact, first of all, let me just give you a quick overview of how TubeBuddy sort of works within the context of the YouTube studio. Uh, so it basically, it, it almost feels as part of the YouTube studio experience. Uh, and on occasion when I've opened another computer up and logged in and it hasn't actually been there, uh, it's uh, it just looks a bit strange not to have all the functionality just sort of built in. Uh, it just feels so integrated. So there is a TubeBuddy menu that sits up in the top, so it just appears as part of the, uh, almost, as I say, part of the YouTube interfa interface. And if you click on here, we've got a menu. And it does a few great things, actually. So it can take you through to uh, jumping through to some of the commonly used places in YouTube. So rather than having to navigate through all of the menus and things like that, we've got some quick links just up here. Uh, but then there's all sorts of other tools here, like Keyword Explorer, where you can investigate different keywords, which ones you think are going to work well, and so on. Uh, topic planner where you can plan out your video topics and things like that uh, tags lists so if there's tags that you use regularly rather than inputting them all one by one each time you can just create little groups of tags so I have that where I've got different sort of video topics that I do and then I can just pull in basically a tag list uh, so that saves a ton of time as well uh, you can also do analysis on when is the best time to publish your videos uh, so it'll tell you the time of day on every day and then also the best time of the week if you're publishing uh, depending on the frequency of uh, your publishing it's also got a different time for live streams as well so based on your sort of uh, viewer behavior it'll tell you when the best time to uh, watch live streams is uh, and then it's also got this tool clip magnet now that is another video all in itself but this one allows you to do a uh, really deep dive into your uh, thumbnails and analytics, click-through rates, your content and all these sorts of things. So I'll do a separate video on that because it really does warrant one in itself. Um, so that is the sort of main TubeBuddy menu up at the top. There's lots of other things here, so different website tools you can get through to your community. There's a support thing to get through to YouTube support, uh, sorry, uh, TubeBuddy support directly in there. So it's really easy to get any issues uh, resolved quickly and efficiently. Uh, but then down here, we've also got sort of it embedded into the interface as well here. So when you hover over a video, for example, uh, you've got a little drop down here and this has got lots of tools in it specific to that video. So you can uh, publish direct to Facebook, you can share it on Twitter, you can apply templates and all sorts of other different things that you can do directly from the uh, the interface here next to your videos. But the one that we're going to do today, <laughs> can you tell I'm a fan of you, buddy? <laughs> the one that we're going to do today, though, is here in this uh, bulk and miscellaneous tools. Uh, and the one in particular is this one, bulk video processing. Uh, and you can do bulk uh, thumbnail overlays, so you can add additional information over the top of your existing uh, overlays. Uh, but uh, so for example, if you were running some sort of special offer or something like that, you might want to have something uh, temporarily over the top of all your uh, your thumbnails. Uh, there's lots of other things. I won't go into all of these, but we want this first one, find and replace text. So I'm going to click on that one, and this brings up this little box. And this is basically to uh, find and replace text. Uh, you can also do this drop down where you can insert or alter text, things like that, remove and delete text. So if you've got something in there, like it may be a dead link or something, and you just want to take out that link, then you can do that. Uh, there's all sorts of different uh, things you can do in here, but we are going to do the find and replace text. Now you've got two text boxes. Uh, I'm sure most people are familiar with how find and replace works from other office applications and applications on the uh, on the computer that you have. Uh, but basically, you're going to enter the text that you want to find and the text that you want to replace it with. Uh, and we're just going to uh, drag down here just to show you that this can basically be as long as you like, and it will fit in a full video description, in fact. So all I did was I uh, clicked on here, find text, and I found the text that I had originally put as my footer in my uh, my videos. And as I said before, it was about a paragraph long, uh, and so I added that one in. Uh, and then in here, I clicked on the uh, replace text, and I put in that new, much longer description with all of those links. And I'd also, you may have noticed, put in little emojis and things like that. Uh, I suppose as little uh, sneaky attention grabbers, I will say. <laughs> so anyway, I put those in there, and it just all... Uh, it all fit in the box quite nicely uh, and then what you can do is there's a couple of options here so if you want to include partial word matches so I didn't I wanted to make sure I was getting the exact text um, and then also you can have whether you want it to be case sensitive or not and I uh, just left that one blank and then here we can say search in titles and descriptions so yes you can go through and edit all of your titles as well if you want uh, but I did it just on the descriptions 
Uh, and then I clicked continue. And once you click that, it basically just finds all the instances of it. And funnily enough, it found exactly the same number of uh, instances as I had got videos because I was searching for that stock uh, video description. Uh, then I clicked on the uh, uh, change, <laughs> the replace, and it just started working away in the background. So from in terms of my time, it was a case of just going ahead and uh, drafting this new uh, description, which uh, I don't know, took me all of uh, 30 minutes to go in and grab all of my links, things like that to make the uh, the text for the, the, the updated description footer. Uh, then I dropped it into here and clicked uh, continue. And that was me done. <laughs> it was literally four or five clicks away and uh, it was all churning away in the background uh, and I think it took around about three minutes four minutes something like that for it to just go through and update all of those descriptions a hell of a lot quicker than it would have been if I'd been doing it and in any case I just went away and made a coffee so <laughs> it was no time for me at all so that means that then I had all of these uh, these descriptions updated in my uh, my video descriptions for all of my videos, not just the future ones going forward, uh, and that made a big difference. So what difference did it make? Well, it in the last uh, month I've had uh, over. 900, <laughs> 920 uh, links through to my Amazon affiliate links. Now, that may not sound like a lot to you if you are, if you're really heavy Amazon, uh, you know, get heavy uh, Amazon uh, traffic. Um, but the point is that was about 10 times more than I'd got in the previous month or the month before that. So it has really dramatically increased the number of click throughs that I've got to my Amazon links. And now the conversion rate, once people have actually got to Amazon, uh, is admittedly slightly lower because presumably people People are just randomly clicking, not randomly, but they're less intentional, shall we say, about actually going and finding the link. So they haven't had to go through to my website, looking at my gear page because they're specifically interested to click through to it. So there, there is a lot more intention involved. Or if I've mentioned a product and the link is in the description, people are interested in that product because they've watched my video about it. And so they're clicking on the description on the link in the description to go through to Amazon because they're interested in the product. So it makes sense that there is more intention there that the conversion rate would be higher. Now my conversion rate before was at around about 4.5, something like that from people who click through, 4.5% would go through to make a purchase. Uh, whereas now it's around about 3.8, something like that. So when I say it's slightly lower, it's not like dramatically lower, it's just slightly lower. And that's because people are obviously looking in the description, they're scrolling down, they're noticing that there's some links there and thinking, oh, I wonder what that is, but they're not necessarily as intentional intentional about it. But nevertheless, 3.8% of a 10 times greater number works out at more sales. Let me just tell you that much. And I can tell you that in doing this, this is pretty much paid for TubeBuddy itself. So this one action, and this is obviously recurring revenue, as I make more videos and as I continue to have my uh, my uh, back catalogue is being uh, searched and people are finding it and people are clicking on those links, then that ad revenue as my channel grows is only going to grow as well. So Thank you, TubeBuddy, for uh, for that little tool that you gave me because it has really made things a lot simpler. So if you are interested in uh, in TubeBuddy, then uh, as I say, it is my uh, my tool of choice when it comes to uh, helping me with my uh, YouTube and uh, monitoring it with my uploads, with my analytics and everything like that. And once again, I just have to say, go to uh, takeonetech.io to get your free trial. And there are three different levels and uh, I recommend giving the legend level a try out because that has got all of the features and once you see some of the things that you can do with the legend level you'll realize how uh, how valuable it is and i've got to say i was sleeping on it i went for the lowest level when i first started my channel uh, uh which was around seven eight dollars a month and they give a discount if you've got less than a thousand subscribers so it does seem a very cost effective way of doing things but if i'd done this sooner it would have paid for itself sooner. <laughs> so uh, once again, thank you, TubeBuddy, and definitely go and check that out. And uh, speaking of monetization, <laughs> as we were, if you have found this useful, definitely go and give a like and subscribe. Uh, and if you've really found it useful, head over to my Buy Me A Coffee page at buymeacoffee.com slash take one tech. Uh, that's the best way to show your support for the channel. So I uh, hope you found that useful. If you are using TubeBuddy and you've got any other features that uh, you really love and have really saved you a load of time, then drop them in the comments and uh, I'd love to hear about them because I'm still discovering more and more ways to use it every day. So thanks again, TubeBuddy, and uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll leave a link to some more YouTube content creation uh, videos over on the, uh, the right-hand side and YouTube will pick one especially for you just up in the top right there as well. Have a great day everyone. Bye bye.